Hello and welcome to the Breas tutorial series. In this video I will tell you about the intermittent positive pressure breathing or IPPB mode on the Clearway 2. IPPB is a flow controlled pressure cycled mode. The main settings used are flow setting, maximum inspiratory pressure setting and trigger level setting. In IPPB, a patient triggers a breath which is delivered by the Clearway 2 at the set flow. When the maximum inspiratory pressure setting is reached, the Clearway 2 cycles to zero pressure and will do nothing until another breath is triggered. IPPB mode allows clinicians to set the pressure to be delivered to the patient, the length of the breath in and the slope of the delivery of the breath in, along with the trigger sensitivity. Increasing the maximum pressure setting or decreasing the flow setting will mean a longer breath is delivered to the patient. Similarly, decreasing the maximum pressure setting or increasing the flow setting will mean a shorter breath is delivered to the patient. While not changing the pressure setting but decreasing the flow setting, will mean a longer breath will be delivered more slowly than with a higher flow setting. IPPB is a peripheral airway clearance technique. The aim of IPPB is to decrease work of breathing by decreasing the mechanical load. Improve distribution of ventilation. Improve arterial blood gas tensions with increased tidal volume. Improve nebulized drug delivery when a T-piece is added to the IPPB circuit. To use the IPPB mode on the Clearway 2, set up the device as normal by placing it on a clean, flat, hard surface. Connect the mains power and switch the Clearway 2 on. Press the green check button to confirm you are using the correct circuit. In IPPB mode, a circuit with a leak port must be used. If not already in the IPPB mode, press the Mode button in the bottom left corner of the touchscreen, then select IPPB. Having already assessed the patient, program in the appropriate settings using the touchscreen buttons. IPPB is often delivered to a patient using a mouthpiece interface. A nasal clip can also be used if required to prevent air escaping directly from the nose. There is no need to press the start stop button in IPPB mode as the Clearway 2 is ready to deliver a breath as soon as you enter the mode. Setting adjustments are dynamic, meaning you can change settings while somebody is using the Clearway 2 and they will be changed immediately while the patient is using the Clearway 2. We hope you have enjoyed this video. For more information and videos on how to use the Clearway 2, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.